morning, Melanie. Morning, Charlie. Good morning. That's all I can see at the moment. <laughs> it hasn't started on my bit yet, but I'm saying hello like to my lovely roses. <laughs> so just watching the ads, and and then I'll be with you because then I know that everyone else is with me. Come on, wait for it to go. Just look at look at my paintings. I like this one. I like this one. <laughs> the adverts are so annoying, but hey ho. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Right, yay. Here I am. I can actually see what's occurring now, and I can see that. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> good morning. I hope you can hear me. Um, something usually weird happens to my microphone. <laughs> when I've been away or something doesn't go right so if you can hear me please say thank you I should, should I can I could turn my volume up but that would be annoying that's the last one we did which was last Wednesday oh. <laughs> yeah you can hear me right today um today I'm gonna paint some shrooms some mushrooms Mushrooms, some fungi, 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 a bit like this one. I didn't know what to put. I was going to paint some dahlias, dahlias, but um, I want to um, they're dahlias, but I wanted to um, find some from the garden. Maybe. Sorry if my hair gets in the picture. I forgot to tie it up. It's a bit crazy at the minute. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to paint some some them. Um, <coughs> mushrooms, mushroom. I want to sing that song. Mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> no, don't sing it. <laughs> Hello. Right. So, um, yeah. For this, I'm, I've got some diluted bleach in my bottle, and I've got some salt because I'm going to be making some texture. And I've got a bit of sandpaper. I have got some sandpaper. A little bit of really coarse sandpaper and some water soluble pencils. Hi Margaret. Yeah, I enjoyed the festival. Yeah, it was really good. It was it was fun. It was like oh, it was nice. <laughs> it's good. It's it's so much better before. I used to go to this festival with my ex and um, he used to write, run the stage and we used to spend all the time backstage being bored as hell. <laughs> but actually being at the festival, it's the second time I've been and I haven't been behind stage. It's so much better. <laughs> Had so much fun. Who did I see? Oh, I saw Madness. That was so good. Yeah, enjoyed it enjoyed it and the New York brass band they were really good I like them and I can't remember who I saw lots of other people <laughs> um, yeah let's start off with your um typical normal um like um fly atomic like mushroom if you someone thinks of a mushroom or a toadstool you think of the red ones don't you the spots <laughs> I'm sort of making these up, but going from my um, previous painting. So um, yeah, um, I'm going to use that Naples Naples yellow, the um, Daniel Smith one, just to do the uh, the bit. I don't know what's with stalk. I have stalks, don't they? <laughs> Your niece was there in her camper van. I was there in my camper, my little what's it van. <laughs> Did she have a good time? It was fun. I love a good festival, me. This is like the, the one I, I enjoy because it's not too big and it's just nice and you meet lots of people. <laughs> Make new friends. I'm just using um, a red pencil 
and the reason why I've got this is you can um, create texture by sanding it over the top. So I sprinkled a bit of salt and I put the bleach and then I've got like the texture. Most you do the different colours, you know, maybe in rather than red on red, let's get the mushroom colour. <laughs> Oh, she might have seen me. <laughs> Dancing like a crazy fool. <laughs> there, last year Dizzy Rascal was so fun. I was right at the front. <laughs> oh, we called it Covid Farm last year because I came back and had Covid after it. <laughs> Whilst we went, whilst we went round um, the round Scotland, we both had COVID, which was quite fun. <laughs> Hi, Rosalie. <laughs> Let's try a different colour mushroom. Let's do a mushroom, mushroom, coloured mushroom. I think I'm just doing really simple painting this morning because um, I haven't been very well, but it wasn't. It's not because of the. Um, The festival. <laughs> I was, um, I was just, uh, lady problems. <laughs> at your age, at my age, at this time, perimenopausal. <laughs> it's not good. Anyway, yeah, apart from that, yeah. So I have, haven't been, that's why I wasn't here on Monday, otherwise I would have been. <laughs> So I just wanted to do something simple this morning because I've been up, I've been up since three o'clock. <laughs> I like to what the um. I know these bits are called the gills of the mushroom. What are the bits here called? The, like they're frilly skirts. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm just doing a kaleidoscope of mushrooms here. So. Um, we can have like I like orange and well the ones I did on there were like orange and purple and yeah let's try some different ones I'm just making lots of shapes <laughs> it's quite autumny today as well we've been having like tremendous tremendous that's not a word tremendous rain like really bad rain it flooded everywhere yesterday and like thunderstorms. Poor Cyril thought, thought he was having kittens the other day. <laughs> the weather was good whilst I was away there, which was good. It only rained as we were leaving. Let's give this one a really long stem. And give it some friends, this one. It can have friends. A stipe. Oh, I do love it, Charlie. When you're around, I learn lots. <laughs> They're amazing things, fungi, fungi, and all the um, underground fungi, fungi stuff and that talk to the trees, <laughs> stuff like that. Oh, I've been watching Vikings as well. They used to like him. Um, shrews. <laughs> Give this one some spots. That one's okay. You'll see the um, texture from the salt working as it dries. If I haven't put it on. It doesn't work too well on this paper though, the salt texture. I'm just using, um, what do you call that? It's just cart like cartridge, mixed media paper. So I'm just going to have some of my tea. <laughs> and what colour was it? A purple one. Well, I might do a deeper red one. Let's do another red one. Little ones. Yeah. 
I'm going to fill up this whole page with them. <laughs> I like that colour red. I didn't see, well, who was playing, it was Rudimental was playing, um, I didn't see them, because I don't really like them. <laughs> I've seen them play before, it's not really my music, and then they, they were like restricting people going in to see them because of the size, and you had to queue up to get in, and I thought, oh, I let the young'uns, I let the young'uns go in, because <laughs> it's sort of like a young'un band, so we went, we went and watched something else. Oh, we went to the dub, the um, <laughs> the dub band, <laughs> which was really good. Um, where they uh, just played like reggae music all the time, and um, I just danced in the rain, which was nice. I was soaked. It was like a, a VW band. It was good. It was good fun. <laughs> And it's nice to like meet up with all the people you just meet at festivals all the time, which is good. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Right. Um, these are like magic mushrooms. I don't know what they are. I don't know why they're called magic mushrooms. <laughs> With a purpley stem. I hope this isn't boring watching um, me paint fungus. <laughs> I know it said floral on the thing, I should have said it. <laughs> should have said it well. I didn't decide until I sat down and thought, oh yeah, I should have looked through my book. Oh yeah, I'd like to paint those again. Paint them slightly differently and then I can make a nice fungus pattern, I think. I've got rid of my Photoshop and um, Illustrator. Um, I haven't got my computer back yet. <laughs> but I've got rid of Photoshop and Illustrator because it costs far too much, decided. And I've been using a thing called Affinity Designer and Photo. Melly's asking if I slept in what's it? Yeah, the camper van. Yeah, slept. We sleep in what's it? And it has like a. Um, if you've looked at my uh, Facebook page, I'll put it up on the community thing on here as well <laughs> for you guys. I'll put it in my um, my uh, the the members thing <laughs> so you can see. I put um, yeah, it has like an awning on the side, so it's not as small, but it's. Uh, she did us proud. She's a little what's it? She always gets admiring looks and everybody like loves her. <laughs> Passed her MOT, she's had the window fixed. And a nasty person broke. <laughs> but yeah, it was good fun. The only sad thing is, I want to be going around Scotland now, like I did last year. <laughs> On the MC500, that was that was just really nice. <laughs> I just I want to be doing that. I didn't I didn't want to come home. <laughs> you travel back to your mushrooms in Bali, Charlie. Bali, Charlie, Charlie in Bali. <laughs> I've got some growing in my garden. <laughs> yes, I do harvest them. But there's no there's not enough to um you know, it's only a handful of them. <laughs> Oh, 
gosh, I shouldn't be talking about such things on this. <laughs> That's funny. Things you do when you're young, eh? I want to go to Bali, Melanie. Shall we go? <laughs> I want to go to India as well. I'd love to go there. Everyone needs a misspent youth, I think. <laughs> I've had, I don't know, everyone always tells me I should write a book of things that has happened to me. <laughs> Stuff, <laughs> life story, and then I was like, no, no one would be interested. <laughs> things you go through, people just don't get it, do they? <laughs> Some people have boring lives, I've decided, that they don't do anything. I'm just like having some pencil, pencil-y bits to, to this, I don't know if it's, they're not, they're not botanically correct mushrooms, they're just made up. <laughs> Yeah, it's great foraging for mushrooms, like chicken of the woods, you can't go wrong with those. And those, um, what did we have for the um, ink? I've forgotten what they're called now. <laughs> oh, kayaking around the island, in oh that must be, be fabulous. He's just in time for the midges to disappear, isn't he? <laughs> My friends have just been in Scotland and they're like going moaning about the midges and I was like, where did you go at a stupid time? <laughs> the best time to go is um, before, before May <laughs> and after September, I think that's what we were told. But we were there at the end of September last year. And it wasn't too bad. There was a couple of places that were midgy, midgy. <laughs> it was just like, come back, I'm going to die. <laughs> so many of the little buggers. Still didn't seem too bothered by them. <laughs> Yeah, I've got quite a few books. I should have got my books out, actually. <laughs> when I say I've got quite a few books on mushrooms and things, I've got like 10 books. So that's quite a lot of books. <laughs> there's uh, some really good ones and there's some really ones that don't really tell you what. <laughs> What's a midge? <laughs> it's like a tiny, tiny mosquito. They, they bite you. <laughs> they bite you. Tiny little fly things. <laughs> Not nice. They don't mean you any harm, but you know, they're just they're just annoying. <laughs> the um, salt's not working on this paper at all. I'm sad, saddened happened by it. I was going to do some more little thingy ones here. Let's make a little group. Mushrooms are easy to do. You just need to do a blob and a stalk and then everyone knows what it is. <laughs> because I wanted to get this effect. Can you see this one? Yeah. It looks like the spots of the mushrooms. With the salt it doesn't like my paper. <laughs> Yeah, death angel. <laughs> I wouldn't want to 
sweet one of those. You're supposed to cut them in half, aren't you? And you can tell by the, you do spore prints or something. <laughs> you can tell what's what. I wouldn't eat something that I wasn't sure I knew what it was. That's a bit dangerous. <laughs> if you see a chicken of the wood, you can't um, really um, and those ink caps. Is it ink caps? The, the, the fluffy ones. <laughs> Bye, Stephen. Oh yeah, puffball mushrooms. I used to find loads when we were kids. We used to um, like stamp on them <laughs> to make all the spores come out. It was great. Some eels on these little ones here. I'm a bit quiet this morning, sorry. <laughs> I was, I'm upset the silk's not working. Oh, it's sort of working on that one. Sometimes it's the colour as well. No, I haven't shut down my Etsy shop. It's still there. I've restarted, <laughs> restarted them. Um, my Mitzi B one. So, um. Yeah, puffles are nice to eat. As long as they haven't gone over, then they're a bit chewy. <laughs> this is like most mushrooms, really, isn't it? Don't leave them too long. Some people don't like mushrooms at all, do they? But no. Ooh, that's really thick and gloopy, that paint. Why is my shop not working or something? I don't know. I haven't been on that. <laughs> I also give it like shutting down my Etsy shop because um, the, the fees for it are stupid. Like I sold, I sell, I've got my vintage stuff on there as well. So I sort of like sell doubly. And I sold something for like 20 quid and only got like eight pound of it. So I got a bit upset about that. <laughs> We're talking mushrooms, Stephen. Chewy puff balls. <laughs> I got some mushrooms to add to my mushrooms. My mushrooms. I was going to add some bits of a little grass. Oh, that's all right then, Mendy. <laughs> I know I hadn't, I hadn't um, paid something, so they they take it offline or something. But that was my Mitzi B one, which I wasn't too worried about because I had closed that. Because, um, but I've start, I'm starting it back up again. Because <laughs> I've shut, what I've have shut down is my website shop. I think. Even though it still was up the other day for some reason, I need to check that. <laughs> Trying to cut down on spendage because of the um, bills all going up. So I'm trying to keep everything simple. <laughs> yeah, the fees are stupid. Sell on eBay. <laughs> I like eBay. eBay's like my favourite of things. I'm gonna. I'm starting to sell my art on eBay again. 
I think it's going to take a little time, but I think more people are probably going to start selling stuff on eBay more, like arty things. That's how I started doing this. Um, it used to be called Flower Brown. I used to paint poppies all the time and sell poppies on there. And then um, someone started copying me, who's also got a channel on here. <laughs> Back then, <laughs> I just let it get on with it copying my poppies paintings and the way I painted back then, back in the day, it's like 20 years ago I think, <laughs> or more, because yeah, it was when Elliot was a baby, he's 22 now, goodness me, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to start adding some, some bits of shadow in. I think it needs a bit more depth now, it's sort of like darkening, darkening, drying. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm going all in for, um, YouTube, not, not YouTube, eBay. I sell on there anyway with my other stuff, which does really well, so, um. And the fees aren't stupid there either. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't know if they're the same for um, like America. I'm not sure. <laughs> not if it's from me. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> it won't be. There seem to be like any rules on eBay. Oh, I suppose there's lot, quite a few things. They've got loads of information on there uh, for eBay. eBay, eBay. <laughs> um, it's just that you can't sell. Uh, <laughs> counterfeit goods, you know, fake things and whatnot. You know, you know whatnot. <laughs> That's good then, Margaret. <laughs> I was going to say, I remember sending you one. A bit of shadow just like, makes them pop. <laughs> Shaggy ink caps, I just remembered what they're called. I like those mushrooms, they look shaggy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Margaret. Um, yeah, it's amazing what a bit of shadow does. But I always put the shadows on things last, like, um, because I like to, like, just wait for it to see, see how it's, how it's, how it's going? <laughs> Is that the word? Yeah, I don't know. Just to see how things are progressing, really, and then um, shadows make all the difference. <laughs> Let's put some shadows on these ones, and then I think I'm done. I'm just using that Van Gogh's uh, dusk, dusk, dusk violet for the shadows. It seems a bit, it's a nice shadow colour. Oh, I like stuffed mushrooms, mainly big steak mushrooms stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm licking my brush. It's not good. <laughs> 
Tesco's do them really nice ones that you just buy and stick in the oven. Easy. <laughs> I've got lots of courgettes and zucchinis at the moment from my garden. They've gone mad and um, I'm trying to find some recipes to do that. You can do like zucchini bread. I might do some, some like bread, <laughs> maybe. Got a bit of shadow on this one. I'm not sure what this one's doing. It hasn't, the salt didn't work on, on anything. Oh, it's starting to work on this one a little bit. And these ones down here, just like the red today. Maybe I put it on when it was a bit wet. Let's add some texture on this one. Some steak and mushrooms. Yay! <laughs> Is that what you want for dinner tonight, Steve? <laughs> it's what I want now. <laughs> takeaway last night so I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> Normally I cook most evenings. We had a palmo. <laughs> Do you think I could be bothered to go to the shop today? Or it would be a freezer dive dinner. <laughs> Can you, um, do they freeze all right, courgettes? I always think they go soggy. <laughs> yeah, if they're grated and I'm going to use them as like in bread or something, I suppose it would be okay. Oh, I can see all the children going to school. Noisy car, sorry. I'm just finishing this off. Your courgettes died. <laughs> Freeze the surprise. Ooh, <laughs> you're making me hungry now. Yeah, we had a palmo last night, which is something you find in the northeast, um, which is a breaded chicken escallop. So it's like hammered down, <laughs> flat, breaded in bread crumbs. And then it has like, bachamel, I can't never say this, bachamel white sauce on the top with cheese and ham <laughs> on the top, but you can have any other topping on it. And then they like grill it. And it all, oh, mm. <laughs> yeah, what was it a couple of years ago? I had so many courgettes, I didn't know what to do with them. And they, they did last ages, like keep them in the, the back back kitchen, like the larder room, because it's cold, and they lasted like till like April the next year. <laughs> I think I was fed up with courgettes, I think everyone else was, but I just like them fried. So nice. A bit hungry now. <laughs> roadkill in bread crumbs. I don't think it was roadkill. <laughs> oh, I've got steak, 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 and mushrooms in my head now. Lick my brush. When I'm doing details, I always lick the brush, but I, I should have a tissue in my hand so I can pull the um, excess water off. Right, I think I'm finished. Bachamel, that's right. I did say it right. <laughs> I always like second guess, second guess myself. <laughs> I can make a mean bachamel sauce.
Uh, that's the one thing I taught my son how to make when he was like eight. <laughs> I said, once you can make a sauce, you can make cook loads of different things. <laughs> right, that's my mushrooms. And this is the mushrooms that inspired me to... The mushrooms I painted before that inspired me to paint the mushrooms. So I've got a very vast amount of mushrooms to um, paint. I think I think my mushroom paintings come along actually. These don't look. These are more illustrated. These are more watercolory. Quite like this one here. <laughs> this one looks very effective. The salt's working on that now, which is good. <clears throat> I would. I will make a pattern from it and show you. <laughs> Bye Stephen. <laughs> Wait, I am good to go now. Thank you for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, look at on my Instagram, Facebook, whatever the links will be under this video when I get round to putting them up. <laughs> and thank you for joining me and I will see you it's Wednesday already isn't it I'll see you Friday I have got a video coming out this evening which is one which is this one not, not, not that one this one of me painting it in without all the chatty chatter <laughs> all right take care everybody and I will see you on Friday bye